teenage schoolboy is allegedly thrashed by cops in Chennai for daring to film a traffic cop collecting money, but the police say the boy assaulted them and filed him with criminal charges. The Karnataka High Court says no further investigation is needed in the wealth case against Chief Minister Jayalalitha. DMK MP Kanya Mari uh, files another bail plea for before the special court in Delhi. Her application will come up on the 1st of October. The DMK voices its displeasure over not being consulted by the centre on the sudden fuel price hike. We are hike. against the, any rise in the LPG uh, cylinders. Further, we have the, the tweet, uh, uh, dual price policy also. He missed defeating DMK heavyweight MK Stalin, but uh, Saida Idure Sami gets his reward. Chief Minister assures protesting villagers at the Kudangulam nuclear plant is safe, requests them to break their fast. Narendra Modi's three day fast picks up a ton of criticism, but not from Jayalalitha, sends two AIDMK ministers to attend the fast. The railways question the hospitalised driver in the Arakonam train tragedy. A report on the collision will be submitted soon. More trouble for K.N. Nehru, the Vigilance and Anti-Corruption Department raids more properties of the DMK former minister. Hello and welcome to the Late Night News here on NDTV Hindu with me Natasha Thuraiswami. The top headlines coming your way. After allies express their anger over the petrol hike, uh, today's ministerial panel meet on LPG subsidies is postponed. Anger across the country as petrol goes up by over 3 rupees a litre, the BJP protests in the capital. And pay more for your home and car loans as the RBI hikes key rates by 1.25%. The Prime Minister says cross-border terror camps are being reactivated. There is no room for complacency in Jammu and Kashmir. Azaruddin's son, Ayazuddin, now dies in hospital. He was critical for several days following an accident on a motorbike. Rahul Dravid gets set to play his final one day of his career later today in the final match of the series against him. After the Karnataka Film Producers Association lifts an outrageous ban on actor Nikita Tukral, she says she will think 100 times before acting with actor Darshan. Well, call it the Anna Hazari effect. In a shocking incident uh, last evening, a teenage schoolboy was allegedly beaten up by cops on the old Mahabalipuram road when he tried to film a traffic policeman collecting money. The boy, who was reportedly stopped along with his driver on their way back home, was asked to pay a fine as their vehicle's number plate was not in order. And they were also allegedly over speeding. According to the parents, the boy was taken to the Kanagi Nagar police station and beaten with lathis. His parents then took him to the Royal Petta Government Hospital for first aid. Meanwhile, as the parents were on their way to the police commissioner's office to file a complaint against the cops, there are reports that the police have now turned tables on the boy by claiming that he was the one who assaulted and misbehaved with them and have filed criminal cases against him. We are not showing you visuals of the boy's face or any identification of the minor as it is prohibited under the Juvenile Justice Act. Well, we also, we at NDTV Hindu have spoken uh, to the parents of the 16-year-old boy and they gave us their detailed uh, version of the story really of what really unfolded yesterday. And uh, advoc advocate uh, Sudha Ram Ramalingam also joined us earlier with her perspective on the legal proceedings really. Take it forward. We are now joined by the mother of the boy who was allegedly beaten up by the police uh, Ma'am, could you tell us what exactly happened on Thursday? Okay, Thursday, uh, yesterday my, uh, my son was uh, coming from the office to the home and uh, while taking U-turn, the policeman has stopped him and asked, uh, he was uh, sitting behind the car, my driver is driving the car. So he stopped the driver and asked him all the papers and everything. My driver has shown him everything, everything was correct. Then uh, the policeman told that your uh, number plate is not correct, so you have to pay the fine like 1050 rupees. Mm -hmm. 
then my same son came out from the um, back door and he asked what happened sir then he said that uh, you have to pay this money then he told uh, i don't have uh, this much of money so you can please call my father he'll come and uh, talk to you then he said no you can't call your father also and you have to pay this money or or else you can't move from the place so then uh, uh, 45 minutes he was standing there then they told that okay how much money you have then he said i have 250 rupees with me so they said okay you give this money to me then he given the money and uh, after giving money he was just standing there that this policeman he was uh, he removed his cap he, he was having so much of money in the cap so uh, he asked his uh, assistant that uh, how much uh, today's chalan we have cut he said some 4500 so he told okay 4500 he kept in another pocket and said that balance 3000 rupees will uh, will share it and given 1000 rupees to him and 2000 rupees he was keeping in his pocket so my son told that sir you are doing all this wrong thing so i will take a video so he tried to took uh, his mobile from the pocket then the policeman snatched the mobile and then he beated him so badly on the road with the stick and uh, kicked him and he was really injured is uh, some 20 30 sticks he, he was beated him okay. and then some five uh, policemen was there and this fellow was beating him and then he took him to the police station and our area is coming in torai pakam and then they have taken him to the kanagi nagar police station okay. so then i was not able to contact my son also then uh, somehow two hours we were searching for him somehow we came to know that he is in kanagi nagar police station we went there spoken to inspector he was inspector also talking so badly and he was telling that uh, this is the police station and you can't uh, question anything and i asked them why have you beaten my son he, uh, he didn't do any crime or nothing right. he was just uh, trying to uh, whatever he was doing wrong we were just trying to take it uh, the way then he said okay you don't know how to uh, behave with the police they are, we are uh, like this is spoken then uh, um, uh, uh, acp came there uh, then he told okay okay my, i know my my person has did the he's done the wrong thing so uh, you do one thing you come to the torai pakam police station where will there will take the all uh, complaint and everything right because uh, that area is in the torai pakam so from kanaki nagar we uh, we thought okay we'll go to the torai pakam station then uh, he was in severe pain and he was feeling giddiness and everything so we took him to the roy peta general hospital there the doctor has seen him and uh, given some injection and whatever and then they took the x-ray and everything and they said the 10 days is the baddest for him okay. so while 2 o'clock we came back to the home so he was not able to give any complaint to the police station yesterday mm -hmm. so morning uh, we were scared to go to the police station because it's a uh, if something happened outside you can go to the police if police is doing something where you will go so we was not uh, we was not able to go to the police station again ma'am it's good that you actually finally decided to file a complaint but what did you really mention in the complaint ma'am we wrote all the things whatever happened no the same thing we have written in the complaint and we went to the commissioner like mr Com we we met him like uh, 3 o'clock today mm -hmm. and we told all the matter to him so he told that we have to meet uh, scp uh, uh traffic uh, police and then uh, tomorrow evening uh, we have to go and meet him and then um, uh, I, we have all, we have told everything to him so uh, i believe that he'll do something about this because nobody can beat like this a child on the road he right. didn't do anything we understand just a student so right. this has happened uh, ma'am, we also heard reports of the police actually also uh, filing a counter Yeah, they, I don't know how they filed against him because he was after, they have beaten him, mm -hmm. they have took him, took him to the hospital, uh, this right. time, police station and we took him to the hospital. Right. So, if, he's, if he did anything wrong with the police, how the police will leave him yesterday evening, you, you tell. That's because right. we took him, he is not in the police station. If he touch a police, police person, police will never leave a person. Right. How, he, how, how they allow him to come out from the police station? He, we took him to the hospital also, we took the medicine and everything there and all treatment there. So, if he did anything wrong, police will never leave him. So, they are just false complaining against him to save their part, what they have done with him. And we definitely hope that your son does get justice. Well, that's the perspective from one of the parents of the 16-year-old boy. But our uh, crime correspondent Salim joins us uh, to present what exactly the police have had to say from beginning until now and uh, the cops' side of the story. There are two angles, one from the traffic cops and the other from the law and order policemen. The traffic cops say investigation revealed that the boy was at fault. The, boy, uh, the boy's vehicle jumped signals last night which led the policemen to chase the boy's vehicle and intercept him and uh, the traffic cop also issued a notice to the boy for rash and negligence driving. 
and uh, the, the policemen allege that the boy along with two others entered into an altercation with the policemen. The boy also allegedly took out his cell phone and threatened to take video of the policemen collecting bribe from the motorist. The police uh, indeed say that uh, in fact they had some money because uh, they was actually they were actually collecting spot fines from the motorist who were not obeying the traffic rules. The policemen also allege that the boy uh, tapped on the policeman's shoulder uh, thereby not allowing him to discharge uh, the duties and uh, after an altercation the policeman took the boy to the Durai Pakam police station. We spoke to the law and order policemen in Durai Pakam. They said that they have registered case under three sections of the Indian Penal Code uh, against the boy and two others. One for using criminal force to deter a public servant from discharging duties, two wrongful restraint and three criminal intimidation. And the assistant commissioner of the Durai Pakam police station said that they are on the lookout for three people including the boy. And advocate uh, Sudha Ramalingam now joins us live to give us her take on this entire scenario that's unfolded. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, ma'am. Uh, what do you really make of this case based on what you have heard? Uh, this is the stereotyped reaction of the police. Whenever they are really caught red-handed, uh, when they take bribe or when anyone questions them. As such, police has really not reformed itself. It still feels that it is only in the British days when uh, you know, the citizen was looked upon as, it, as the enemy of the state itself. And the police trying to act like this gives a very, very wrong message to a student. This uh, person is he's just a 16-year-old plus one student. And uh, instead of being setting example, to the student, the police seem to have exceeded all its limits and as the mother rightly said, if only this fellow had done, admitted any wrong, the police would not have left him out yesterday. The entire problem now revolves around the fact that the parents took him to the government central hospital and in the government hospital there would be records to show that the child was actually assaulted and the injuries would have been recorded. Now in order to safeguard themselves, they have foisted a false case. which is utterly wrong and the police ought not to behave like that. The um, policeman responsible for such violent action against a juvenile should have been immediately suspended and action taken against him legally. Instead of that, threatening the child, threatening the parents and then uh, giving wrong signals to them only ensures that people lose faith in the police system and not be cooperative with them. This is not something which is welcome at all. It has to be uh, and I think the State Human Rights Commission should immediately immediately swam out to take cognizance of this and come heavily upon the policemen who are responsible for these acts. Well, actually speaking of setting an example, the police setting an example to this young boy, they actually, the police actually claim the boy is not 16 but 22 and the police also claim that the boy assaulted them. That's one student. They, they also He's claim that the boy assaulted student. them How but uh, can 21? the police really take a minor to the police station? Can they take a minor to the police station? They cannot take the minor to the police station one. Secondly, if he had really assaulted them, they would not have left him out yesterday. And not taking him to Thuripakam uh, police station, I, am st I stand corrected. I was told that the child was taken to Kanaginagar police station, which is not within the jurisdiction of the place where the incident is supposed to have happened. And they have also collected a fine of 1050 rupees, which would show that it was not for the offenses that they are talking about. And okay, having taken the boy, kept him in unlawful custody, uh, beating him up black and blue and threatening now the others also and foisting a false case are all giving definitely wrong signals. They are gross human rights violations by the uh, state police. I, sub I sincerely feel and hope that the city police commissioner who is definitely child friendly, who is definitely citizen friendly, would immediately take action to suspend the police co cops who are responsible for this and also the Aston Commissioner should be taken to task for having protected these persons and ensuring that a, a false affair has been filed against the poor victim child. Well ma'am, let's look at the bigger picture here for the parents itself. What are the legal options that they have in front of them at this point? 
the, the parents can definitely file a petition under 482 uh, for uh, direction to register their complaint and also to quash the complaint with the FIR which has been registered and seek for compensation too. That's as far as the High Court is concerned, they could do all these things. They could also move the State Human Rights Commission and the National Human Rights Commission for remedies under the uh, uh, commission for, uh, by the commission also. All right, so now that today is a Friday and the police will probably look to arrest the boy, do the parents have to wait till Monday to really approach the court? See, as because the child, he is only a 16-year-old child, there is no question of arresting. The, if he is found to be a per child juvenile in conflict with law, he could only be produced because before the child welfare committee. And the, uh, when the parents are available to take care of him, I don't think he could ever be remanded to. It's not possible. And I suppose and believe honestly uh, that the city police will definitely not do something further damaging the entire scenario. And Give, give, let loose a reign of terror on a child and the parents of the children also of the child also. All right, thanks very much, uh, Sudhir Amalingam, for joining us and That's giving us your perspective really on uh, what this whole situation is, the police and what they've uh, really been uh, put themselves into at this point also. Um, but uh, do tell us uh, um, from here on forth really um, what can the boy do in this in this particular situation can he get himself out of it at that point uh, when uh, he is possibly uh, in a situation like this see i suppose the child should now gather strength and should de definitely believe the system and not be uh, uh, demoralized because of whatever has happened. The, whatever has happened, the uh, violence let loose on him would definitely demoralize an ordinary uh, citizen, even if it was an adult, more so when the child, when he is just a juvenile. But definitely he should understand that majority of the policemen are honest true and he would get justice. The judiciary is not corrupt. The entire uh, police system is not that corrupt except that there are black sheep everywhere including the police which he has now faced. So he should not lose hope in the system. The system would work and he would eventually get justice and let him also take this as a lesson to definitely fight for the just causes uh, day in and day out. Well, stay tuned for more news and updates coming up on the other side of this short break from across the state.